Does racism exist in America? Absolutely. Absolutely. I believe that racism still um, exists in America. No, it doesn't exist. It's a shame that people are racist still to this day. I have seen many times like uh, the Muslims, Hindus, Americans all together stay like the next houses to them and they don't fight, they are like quiet, it's all, all good. No, I don't think I think about race uh, very often because I see everybody as equal. I don't think about, you know, black, white, Chinese, no. I just think about people, human beings. Um, all the time, actually. Like, even down to right now, traveling through the city, sitting down on the train, you'll have the person that, that, that doesn't really care about color that'll sit next to you and then somebody else might not sit next to me because they might hear my headphones with a hip-hop beat or got my hat backwards. I think about it often. Um, I don't know, I grew up in a place where there was a lot of people all around me from different cultures, so I don't feel like I grew up with a lot of um, racist undertones because my neighborhood wasn't just white. There's Armenians and black people and Mexicans and all sorts, and Jews and everything. And uh, I don't know, I feel really lucky that I can embrace people because we're all the same. We just have different colors on top of our, our bodies. I grew up with all different races, so I'm colorblind to the fact of if there are different races around me. So that's the reason why I don't think about race that often unless it's in the newspaper. I've never been a victim of racism. I see it, read it, I know all about it, but no, it hasn't happened to me. About last year, when I first started college, me and my um, friends were just chilling in my building, you know, just passing time, and the NYPD came out, the elevator guns blazing, you know, put your hands up. We didn't have any idea what was going on. And a young lady in my building got robbed, so they, they just automatically assumed that it was us. Education, history, intercultural dialogues. I think that's the important thing. You've got to educate your children. If it's not happening in their schools, make sure you do it at home. Give people the chance to meet each other and also to open up your mind. Everybody has to just learn about each other's culture so we can understand each other better. We have to treat each other with respect no matter who they are, what color their skin is, male, female, gay or straight, doesn't matter.